participation, etc. here. And to all the award winners, congratulations. Those who haven't win, won the awards, still uh, congratulations to you as well because I'm sure there is plenty that Vagish has uh, who, which he will be sharing with you in days to come. Since this is my um, last meeting before this election, uh, before the next general election, that is the last CII annual meeting, let me also do my fiduciary responsibility and ask you to vote me back to power and ensure that we come back as a government uh, in 2023. I'm guessing, I'm guessing by the applause that I'll come back, so I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, quickly, I'll just, uh, I, ha I do have a written speech, Vagish, but uh, I will not go Um Just quickly, I'm sure you've been following what all has been happening in Telangana in the last uh, few weeks, few months, couple of months, in fact, and some very, very interesting and exciting things happening. We just concluded uh, BioAsia, which is uh, Asia's, one of Asia's largest premier events, and some very exciting things have unfolded there. In fact, um, back in 21, 2021, in the midst of the pandemic, we had conducted BioAsia in a virtual mode. And we made a commitment to ourselves that the current ecosystem valuation back then, 2021, of life sciences industry in Telangana and Hyderabad and Telangana, not Hyderabad alone, but Telangana, was about $50 billion, and we'll double it by 2030, was what the ambition that we had set for ourselves. But you know, what happened sometimes, you know, is, is, is really good. Uh, from 50 billion in 2020, we actually went to 80 billion in 2022. So a 30 billion increase in just about two, two, two and a half years, which was a huge surprise for us as well. Because I think after the pandemic, the world has realized that we need to invest more in healthcare, we need to invest more in life sciences, we need to ensure that this brilliant industry which saves lives needs to be focused on. So therefore, governments across the world, I think uh, institutions across the world, individuals across the world have started investing more and more in life sciences and therefore, the valuation just jumped from 50 to 80 billion in a span of two and a half years. So we had the good problem, good challenge of resetting our target because you know the 100 billion dar target that we had set for ourselves by 2030, we are now going to be shooting it through in 2025, five years ahead of schedule. So therefore we said, okay, now let's actually challenge ourselves more. Let's do a revised target. Now what we've come out with is to ensure that this 80 billion industry today becomes a 250 billion industry by 2030. It's audacious, it's audacious, it's bold, it's ambitious, but I think it's imminently doable. The reason why I say this is because today Hyderabad and Telangana have so many strengths that we can consolidate, that we can build on, and that we can continue to leverage on. One of the things I will tell you is, of course, the vaccine industry and how Hyderabad today is the vaccine capital of the world. 35% of world vaccines are produced from Hyderabad. In fact, 9 billion doses are produced from Hyderabad. And come next year, with all the expansion happening in the city, with Bharat, with Biological E, with Sanofi, with Indian Immunologicals and others. In fact, Serum is now setting up a center of excellence here. So all of this combined will take us to almost 14 billion doses by hopefully end of next year. Now that will make it 50% of the current vaccine production of the globe coming from one single location, that is Hyderabad and Telangana, which is a huge, huge <laughs> matter of uh, pride, matter of happiness to all of us. But how do we consolidate this? We produce 35% of global vaccines. We produce 40% of Indian pharmaceuticals. We also have the largest number of US FDA approved manufacturing facilities, pharma manufacturing facilities in the world for any single province. We have 214 units in Hyderabad and Telangana. The second largest number is actually in New Jersey, 189. So we have the largest number of US FDA approved facilities for any single province or a single state in the world. Also, with the blessings of our Honorable Chief Minister, we had launched the Telangana Medical Devices Park in Sultanpur uh, in Patancharu. Now that has shaped up really well. We have more than 50 units running already. We have 30 more which will be unveiled soon. And we already have the world's largest stent manufacturing facility in a single location in our Medical Devices Park. Now, this is the brilliant story of life sciences in Hyderabad. We have, across the spectrum of life sciences, we have various activities. Now, we need to consolidate 
and we need to play to our strengths and we need to also of course start looking at newer opportunities so therefore we have now as you all know we've been talking about it for a while hyderabad pharma city which will be again the world's largest pharma cluster single pharma cluster that is also on the anvil in fact we are in the last leg of uh, you know the court cases etc now it's reserved for judgment i'm hopeful that it will come through soon will attract more than 8 billion dollars of investment will create more than 500000 jobs in the single pharma cluster will add to the valuation will add to number of uh, plans that we have with respect to pharma sector